Hi families, I'm going to show you a resource that we'll be utilizing this week called UniteForLiteracy.com. So this website um, is free. It requires no username or password. So to access it, you can actually just type in UniteForLiteracy.com and go directly to the site. If you would happen to be in Blackboard 24-7 to access the checklist or something else, you can also get there by clicking Online Resources student links. On the student links page, you scroll down for a little while. It's this one right here, Unite for Literacy. But like I said, you can go directly to the website and skip all that extra cookie. So basically, Unite for Literacy is an online library of a ton of books. And the great thing about it is it's made specifically for primary grades. So it's made for pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, second grade and the books are made for our beginning and developing readers. So there are some books um, in here, a lot of books actually, that have many sentences on each page, like this one for example, for our kids who are pretty savvy little readers. Um, it also has texts that um, have a lot of repetition within them and a very simple sentence structure like this book, Baby Animals, a baby cat is called a kitten, a baby cow is called a calf. It doesn't break that pattern throughout the book. So these books are great for our kids who just have a few sight words and are learning how to point at the words, make the beginning sounds, and also stretch out words. I would encourage your kids to try to read these books on their own by actually pointing at the words and reading them. And if they would get stuck, there is this feature that they can click on a baby, a baby cow, cow is, is called, called a calf. calf. To have it narrate the text to them. So if they are reading a book that's kind of outside their reading level, they might want to use that sooner. Um, but if it's a book that's at their reading level, you want to encourage them to read it and then use that as an extra support. Another feature of the books themselves is at the end, they always give a little tag of extension things for families, which is really nice. So I'm going to show you some other features of the website that are great, particularly for kids that are trying to learn another language or who speak another language at home. So the whole site itself defaults to English. You can click there on English and you can turn it to Spanish with just that one click. It changes the entire site to Spanish, including the heading categories and the titles of the books, the words inside, and your narrator also then will be in Spanish. In addition to helping out for Spanish speakers or kids that are learning Spanish, if you have it default set to English, you can also have it narrate in, I think, up to 30 other languages. So to do that, you click on narration and you can click on a different language here. It doesn't change the words to the book, but it will change the narration. So it still says, can you see the wind? If I click on English, it will read it in English. But if I click on French over here, voir le vent par Rachel Martinez. Okay. it switches it over to um, French or whatever language you had selected. So, um, most of the time your kids will just enjoy being in here and getting to um, use the tools here and select their own books. Um, there might be times that we um, assign a specific text to them. If we would assign a specific text to them, you can use the search button and type in a keyword book that you're looking for or the actual title that we uh, give you as well. So I hope you enjoy using this resource. If you have any questions, please reach out to your child's teacher. Thanks.